Hey, what's happening, guys? My name is Verve, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. And Trevor is currently drinking away his problems because yeah, he's, 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 in, he's in the mud, isn't he? He stole, he stole Martin's wife. He's just failed another big mission by the cargo plane going down, but he had the time his life jumping out of it. And yeah, last last episode was crazy, but it really annoyed me because the half half of the of the episode wasn't rec it, the volume was and my voice wasn't on it, which is really annoying. I've sorted it out now, but I'm really sorry. But these last two episodes, I had me speaking on it, which is really annoying. But Trevor is currently drunk, but it's okay. Only three beers. We'll be all right soon. Look at Trevor's face. Trevor is in North State to drive, but who cares? Trevor's a madman. But if you didn't hear what Ron said at the end of last episode, we have to go meet Agent Sanchez at the garage, apparently, with Michael. So let's go and let's go let's go and see it because hopefully it's saying that we don't need to work with them anymore because i'm not working with dickhead steed and depressed dave anymore it really pisses me off but let's go and see what these idiots want come on trevor i know you're drunk but let's oh this is uh, this is the operation where we kicked Mr. Cheng into the freezer. Come on, let's go upstairs. This, this place is almost worse than your caravan. Trevor's really drunk. I think we're all good now. What's going on? Oh, God. Nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. <laughs> Got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go oh, fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? But because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? <laughs> fuck off! That's yeah, fuck a... off! I'm sorry. But we That's a fight! Government oh, for God's sake. To, uh, investigate. Another <laughs> bloody <laughs> fucking... Oh, my God, I'm sick of this. Nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, Truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. <laughs> oh, fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Fucking okay, no. hell. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, we're <laughs> you keep us way out of this thing. Bye, bye. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ! All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. 
Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Polito Bay is ages away. Now let's go. Oh yeah, knew it. It's absolutely ages away. Let me call Lester. <laughs> what now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there, Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. Don't. Go away. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll. Stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. You know, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. There's <laughs> nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit. What I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, Pete. It's the opposite of taste. What the hell is going on? Should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny. He's got the same hair as you. He's bold. Talking about. Oh God! You are a hipster. Oh. What? You're a hipster. Oh. Oh. I hate hipsters. Oh Less dear. Hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self hatred. Common hipster affliction. <laughs> be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor. Are the proto? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> I'm not a sadist. <laughs> oh my God. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here? No less. <laughs> Come on, man. Knock it off. <laughs> what?
break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. There he is! Hey. Hey. Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. <laughs> Shall we? Let's well get started. Let's go. Drive us to the bank. Alright, I'm good. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a Let's go. I should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. We'll go around there, okay. Behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay. You ready? Police scanner, now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. Alright. Let's go. Look at these guys. You okay there, Lester? Seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. Yeah, they are. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! <laughs> wheelchair or not! We're still. Oh, come on then, Trevor, let's race. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. See you later, Trevor. I'm gonna beat your ass in this race. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means... Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Dirt track. Might get bumpy. A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab. Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a... Choco! Where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to... Prep the perfect stick-up job. Come on. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? 
Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? More cough, Trevor. Feel that, Trevor? But, but it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. Trevor, chill. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Uh, about that. You've been day trading? No, God no. I mean. Yeah, 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 I've been traded, but no, that's not why we need the money. Oh, I just took the biggest so jump. The we're gonna beat him, we're gonna beat him, come on. So, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit the bank. Excuse no, me. No, 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 Candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talk? Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. No, so come on, Trevor's coming up. Guys out here aren't trained like the LS. Yes. They're going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge, something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got We winning. <laughs> All right. Yes. We win. Well, we got here before the Lord of the Manor. <laughs> the man slows me down. Always has. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An island. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. Put it out, Trevor. A little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. Okay. I'll give you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting. In the boat to get out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Okay. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. Uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Okay, we're going on a try this friends. Guy. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, to yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? See ya, Lester. Oh dear. Oh God, Trevor. 
You okay, Trevor? He's Trevor's bike that he lost on, can I just say? Franklin's called us. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Right, okay. Oh, do it. Does that mean we have to go to Trevor's house? Yeah, come on, Martin. Trevor, Martin. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife, Patricia? Doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. See you later, Martin. Oh, honey, I'm home! Is Patricia still here? Oh, she's not here. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. That's oh! No. Wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mike, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, my God. Where'd you two go? She's brilliant. You went out, you and your boyfriend. Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. Picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain is melted. You you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? But I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? I compared to you, I'm the sanest one. Oh, yeah, sane, 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 sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know. But I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even have to the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. There's nothing else to do. get out of this fucking belt. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't, don't stay out too late. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Patricia, man. All right, come on. Let's go. Go to Franklin's location. All right, okay. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. 
Oh my god, he's miles away. Franklin and Chop. That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck him up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop on these bumps. We're coming up to WH, north of Two Miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo, when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Oh, this crazy world, man. Fucking hell! Hell! Oh, my God! Oh. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> oh my god. I got your back, homie. Fine. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed. They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Yeah, uh, okay. Don't worry. Incoming. Oh, he's right here. Okay, go see that field. Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back Carlton, in the sand. there we go. Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Ah, uh, understood. Fuck the feds. <laughs> Right, come on. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal. The contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Ho ho hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow, ah, what's with all the questions? Can you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. All right, it's literally just for you. There we go. So if your panties... Hey, hey! We here on the ground! Them hip dudes in the woods! That model's fitted with a thermal... Uh, switch the thermal... Yes! Thermal vision! One of them is swimming in the woods. I see you down there, I'm not stupid. See you later. Um... Oh, I'll see him. Got him. I'm really good at this. Oh, shit. Go on, chop. We get to play his chop again. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, shot. God's sake, chop, I'm gonna have to get all wet. Top chasing deers. Oh, he's up there. Get him, Chop! Alright, switch to Trevor. Frank, we didn't chop. Now the whole squad's here. You're gonna get in chop. There we go. Yes, chop. I swear we blew this whole place up with sticky bombs. Remember that phone call. Just have to land on the helipad. Wait, why well, can't I just park in? Land it on the helipad, man. I have to land it over there. Don't there we go. Helping a friend in need. Come on, chop. Come on. Oh yeah. Take it out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. All right, let's go. Predator. And guys, I'm going to leave it off there for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.